There is much to be skeptical of in this world, so it no longer surprises me to learn how many people don't really believe in anything. I don't know if you are close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, but we can't expect God to do all the work. Honest Hearts was the second DLC released for Fallout New Vegas, and arguably hosts one of the game's most popular characters, a character whose writing has caused many to fall in love with them and countless video essays on how deep the character is. Obviously, I'm talking about Daniel's hat. So today we're going to be taking a look at the mod that started it all and what might be the weirdest series of events in New Vegas modding history. It's the 29th of May, a rather inconspicuous mod called Daniel's Hat Refitted is released on the Nexus. I can't believe that in 13 years nobody else beat me to it. This mod is a mesh replacement for Daniel's hat, adjusted so it actually fits on her head. Nothing more, nothing less. I was sick and tired of staring at that stupid, comically oversized clown hat floating over Daniel's head, knowing it had the potential to be the best looking hat in the game, were it not for the aneurysm the designer must have had while making the model. So I did something about it, just pop it in your data folder and enjoy. As the description suggests, this mod is literally just a mesh replacer for Daniel's hat, fixing this bug, which isn't really all that noticeable until it's been pointed out that it does in fact float over the sides of his head. But this mod would be ground zero for what we're going to be referring to as the Hattening. A day later on the 30th, Daniel's hat unfitted was released on the Nexus. I can't believe that in all this time no one fixes one glaring issue. This mod is a mesh replacement for Daniel's hat, adjusted so it actually fits a human. I was sick and tired of staring at that stupid, comically undersized hat floating over Daniel's head. This mod aims to fix that by making Daniel's hat bigger. Daniel's hat unfitted was arguably the catalyst for the events that occurred throughout the rest of the week. This parody of the Daniel's hat refitted mod even went through the effort to recreate several screenshots from the original mod page, this time featuring the comically large hat. Not even 12 hours had passed since Daniel's Hat Unfitted was released, and a second Daniel's Hat parody mod had hit the Nexus. Mesh adjustment for Daniel's Hat so it doesn't actually fit a human head. Daniel's Hat Unfitting takes the opposite approach to Daniel's Hat Unfitted. By instead of making the hat bigger, this mod makes it easily the smallest hat in the game. As if the tragedy wasn't bad enough, reports started coming in of a third mod hitting the Nexus, which were confirmed at 2400 GST. Daniel's hat remasked was uploaded onto the Nexus. I mean, how the hell did Obsidian even manage to accidentally make an object that is clearly supposed to be a mask made into a hat? And in case you were wondering if this mod was Taylor 2 Asans compatible, the author replied to a poor soul asking the question in the comments with, No. In fact, this mod supersedes TTW and adds Fallout 3, 4, and 76 all in one. Also upgrades the game into Starfield's engine, while also being compatible with every single one of those games. Now the floodgates might have already been open by this point, but the mods kept flowing and flowing onto the Nexus. Prior to the 29th, if you searched Daniel on the Nexus, you wouldn't find a single mod for New Vegas. But as of recording, there's now over two pages of mods dedicated solely to Daniel. Daniel's hat with a million polygons. No Daniel's hat. Daniel's hat rehatted to combat the removal of Daniel's hat. Daniel's hat overhaul. Daniel's hat stylish and so many more of Daniel's hat mods released. It was kind of a struggle to keep up with them all. But some highlights have to be Daniel's hat redanieled and Daniel's hat redanieled. Try not to get the two confused, although they share a name. One has Daniel on Daniel's hat, whereas the other has Daniel as Daniel's hat. We also got Daniel's broken steel train hat and Daniel's special hats, which are new throwable weapons for you to use. But I think it's safe to say, as of recording this, that the mods have finally calmed down with the release of Hit Daniel's Hat Animated which animates Daniel's hat. Overall, this was easily one of the modding moments of all time. 
The original Daniel's hat refitted mod by Soulless Toast even got an article written about it on PC Games N. So yeah, this was a pretty fun event to be looking at the Fallout New Vegas Nexus for. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Of course, all of the mods mentioned will be linked in the description below, and um, yeah, I uh, hope you have a good day.